they lied to you. You were the one who was lied to. They hid secrets from you. They didn't tell you what it's all about. And they kept you locked in turmoils and crises and wondering what your divine masculine is going through, feeling through. And they enraged your anger. They triggered you. And that's how the toxic cycle of separation has been perpetuating. The way out of separation, the way out of that disdain where things are not working out, things are not aligning in your favor, things are triggering you beneath all of that are thoughts and emotions that are common to every human being. Like literally for every kind of emotion, there are like a series of thoughts that is common for every human being. Whenever a person is stressed, they will feel like it's not working out for them. They are feeling terrible. They are feeling worried. They are feeling wounded. wounded. Like things will not work out for them. The manifestation is not coming for them. And that's just as a pattern for everyone. So whenever you are in a happy momentum, whenever you are like feeling good, you naturally feel like, oh, my divine masculine is coming towards me. He's missing me. He's thinking about me. And the moment you start to worry a little, you start to get a little anxious, start to get a little bit like, is he coming? Is he not coming? That very moment, they would tell you that your divine masculine is also going through this anxiousness. Your divine masculine is also very worried. Your divine masculine is now leaving the three P. So whenever you are in that mood of crisis, wounding, suffering, stress, anxiety, immediately when you hear something like that, where your divine masculine is now fighting with their mother, your divine masculine is now fighting with the three P, you naturally get like moved and get into that momentum of that rage like yes i get my power back but however it was a game played literally again and again where wherever you were dwelling in in thought process wherever your emotions were based on that your thoughts were being played your divine masculine is literally you and everyone is you pushed out so the moment you literally start giving yourself that sensation, that feeling that you would have when you have your manifestation, you start to attract the person. Whether it's your divine masculine, whether it's your SP, whether it's your ex, literally you name it and you can manifest that person. And the key to literally manifest anyone is to literally go and give that feeling of what you want and give that mood to you so for example suppose having that relationship and finally being in that union will make you feel more secure more safe give that feeling of security safety more to you every time you feel like it's not working out i'm getting triggered that very thought of it's not working out i'm getting triggered is having a lot of anger stored. So you need to realize that wherever I have that anger stored, those molecules are bursting and now reverberating in the frequency of, I have my manifestation. It's all working out for me. So every negative thought is a cluster of molecules that has to just dismantle, break and transmute, cancel, clear and delete and shift to the frequency of, you have your manifestation. And it's not just speaking out your thoughts out loud. As I said, they lied to you. You were lied to. It's not just about speaking out thoughts again and again and spending hours to just chant affirmations. It's not about that. It's really about giving yourself more of what you would need. If you're really pissed with someone who left you or someone else, 
and you really want that revenge you really want that justice beneath that justice what is it there so give that justice to yourself and you receive that justice and you feel that justice what would you feel more of maybe you would feel more ease maybe you would feel more serendipity hold that frequency hold that state and when you hold that state again your vibration will fall and you'll get into that state again of oh they're not here remind yourself like okay this is my worry frequency where i have this thought of they're not here i'm worried and i am safe to shift my frequency and choose that they are here and i am safe to give that feeling more to myself law of attraction is about you attract what you are you attract states so the moment you become that state of consciousness that frequency who has that manifestation that refers to giving yourself that feeling so if you want more security give yourself more security feel security feel the energy of safety peace ease when you're feeling peace ease security again you might get into a downward spiral mode and get into worries of but it's not happening yet that very moment look in and see that what do i want here instead like it's not happening so of course you want it to happen so if when it happens how would it feel of course you would feel relieved and relaxed give that feeling of relief to you to practice being in those states of consciousness and they will naturally reflect our thoughts like my manifestation is here it's working out for me you'll naturally shift there i give you an example so you really worried about something in your life and when you finally get that manifestation you would feel like finally i got it finally i received the justice that i had been looking for all my life finally i have received that momentum of justice so finally when you have received that momentum of justice you feel justice you feel like you won something you feel a sense of more you feel a sense of win win you feel a sense of satisfaction you feel a sense of justice you feel a sense of it has happened now give those feeling more to yourself that it has happened now i feel it it's happening with me again when you get into states like but he is not here yet remind yourself that okay i'm getting into the state again when he is not here i'm getting wounded and i'm getting into that frequency and guess what when you get into that frequency of he is not here yet things are not working out they'll tell you that he is missing you he is thinking about you you may be in the zone of that maybe he is with third party i don't know what's going on with them they will tell you that oh he is about to planning to leave the karmic who are they to decide you decide it right now for yourself he has left the karmic you can't believe it so go within like oh i can't believe it so wherever you can't believe it of course you feel suffocated angry and wounded so what would i like to feel instead through them finally leaving each other the three be finally going away what would i get i would get trust is tranquility satisfaction serendipity give that satisfaction tranquility and trust is to yourself and more you imbibe in that state and feeling your thoughts will naturally reflect like the moment you are feeling relaxed and serendipity naturally you start to vibe from oh it's always working out for me it always works out i am so blessed i am so supported by god it will naturally get reflected and that's the magic of this work all you have to get into is a state of how would it feel when you have it what would you get out of it and give that more to yourself it's not just about affirming 10000 times 20000 times doing no other work but just chanting he's your he's your he's your he's your it's not about getting 
hyper about where is he now what did he do today what is he thinking today today how much did he move today what is the movement with third party today how far did he go it is not about that you have a life the ascension journey any journey it's your life relationship is a part of your life any manifestation is a part of your life don't just let it get into you that you stop feeling happy and joyful because it's not happening yet any manifestation is all about living in the end being there where you already have it so when you have it how would you feel of course you would feel good like you're satisfied you're secure you have it all you're at home you're at ease you come back home give that mood to yourself and make yourself feel good when you give that feeling to yourself like hey i'm giving myself security i'm secure i'm feeling secure suddenly in that energy surge frequency those thoughts will suddenly start coming in because you're getting into the frequency of serendipity and serendipity has thoughts assigned to it like stress has thoughts worry has thoughts like it'll not work out things will not align things will not fall in place i'm here to suffer three people will never go this will go on i have a karmic contract i'm here to suffer my story is exceptionally difficult all of those are limiting beliefs associated to stress worry and stress and worry is there because you don't have it ultimately what stress and worry wants is like you get what you want bro like i'm stressed and worried because i fucking want what i want so when you give that to yourself you no longer stress and worried like the common sense so you naturally feel like i feel so good i feel so serendipitous i feel so calm i feel so relaxed i feel so much of justice to have received it i feel like finally i don't have to carry that wound all the pain has been taken away but i have finally received my manifestation i feel so much of security more you give that to yourself thoughts like oh i'm always taken care of things always work out for me i am so blessed those kind of thoughts will naturally reflect and start paving the path for you become the simulation the theme of the moment you create the vibe of the thoughts because you are in the state where you are secure you are safe you're giving yourself more of that security safety tranquility serendipity joy happiness epiphany and you just feeling so much more of it thank you and love and light to you have a wonderful day ahead